very wonderful uh, birds. They also do feed from my hand, so we have kind of uh, established some kind of bond, uh, like you can see. Yeah, they trust me. Your animals should be able to trust you because you care for them and you mean no harm. So that's how you see that my pigeons know me and they can come and feed on my hand. So this is a good bonding for your animals. Please assure that you put in time in, uh, in your animals. Uh, that's when you are going to enjoy the your farming journey. Remember, farming has challenges. So if you don't enjoy and love what you're doing, it's most likely that you will easily give up. Uh, this structure is uh, 43 feet uh, by 17 feet. Uh, this is where we are farming a lot of animals. Uh, here we have uh, the rabbits. Uh, people have been asking us how much land do you have or uh, what space is your farm sitting on. Uh, so this is an urban center and basically all we are doing is urban farming. And so we have quite a good number of uh, animals. Uh, some of them are rabbits. Uh, this is a New Zealand white, uh, which we have here on the farm. So downstairs we have uh, rabbits in all these cages. We have about uh, 300 plus rabbits here on the farm. Uh, like you can see, all these uh, cages are filled with rabbits. And basically, in a very short time, you are able to propagate your numbers of rabbits to huge numbers. All you need is uh, proper feeding and care. So all here are rabbits. We have one which has brand new bunnies uh, here. This is the first time a New Zealand mother. Uh, we see that there are bunnies in there. So all these ones are winners, uh, rabbits uh, which are born on the farm. Uh, some we have winned uh, recently and some are ready for meat as they have gained uh, adequate weight uh, like you can see. These are five months old and these can be slaughtered for meat. So this is a good one. And also if anyone is looking for good breeds to start off your rabbit farm, these can be nice ones to pick. So we have a water nipple system. Uh, like you see, this rabbit is drinking the water. The water is comes through in this tube and then we connect a nipple at the end so that when the rabbit touches the nipple, it gets the water to drink. Uh, that is a very efficient way to, to kind of uh, provide water to your rabbit. Some pour water in bowls uh, like this. We feed uh, mash to our rabbits and then we provide hay to provide fiber to the rabbits to help with the gut and reduce any issues that can come with with blood. So these are the rabbits uh, all here. These are winners and friars and breeders for those wanting to start a farm. I have this checkered, very nice. This is a nice one. If you need some, please uh, contact us and we will be able to provide you uh, some bunnies. Uh, it's important that you feed your rabbits hay. 80% uh, of the rabbit feed should be hay as this helps with the gut and you will not have issues. Uh, this is uh, another rabbit here. So all here. This side is a breeder section and like you can see we have an upstairs uh, going here. Uh, 
So this is where we have the rest of the animals. Uh, we use this ladder to climb up. So I'll take you up and we see what's going on here. To start you with, we have the guinea pigs. The guinea pigs stay in this uh, structure here. You can see them, they are relaxing. They have had a little bit of feed to eat for the morning. We feed them uh, twice a day. For those who have not held a uh, guinea pig, uh, the guinea pigs are not aggressive in any, in any form of way. Actually, these are very good uh, pets. So let me just get hold of one to just bring it up close on the camera. I think I will go with uh, that one, uh, this one here, looks beautiful. So this is how a mature guinea pig looks like, not aggressive at all, uh, like you can see, uh, the way the stomach is protruding outside, this could be expecting, so let me not hold her that much. So those are the beautiful guinea pigs which we keep here on the farm. Here on the farm. Remember guys, this place when we measured it it was uh, 53 foot by uh, This was 53 feet by 17 feet. Uh, from there I would think I will proceed to to the pigeons. So these are the the pigeons are in there. Let me just grab a little bit of feed. So this one's feed on corn. So this is a little bit of feed. Uh, let's not just go to them with nothing. So these are the pigeons. Uh, like you can see. Very wonderful uh, birds. They also do feed from my hand. So... We have kind of uh, established some kind of bond, uh, like you can see. Yeah, they trust me. Your animals should be able to trust you because you care for them and you mean no harm. So that's how you see that my pigeons know me and they can come and feed on my hand. So this is a good bonding for your animals. Please ensure that you put in time in, uh, in your animals uh, that's when you are going to enjoy the your farming journey. Remember, farming has challenges. So if you don't enjoy and love what you're doing, it's most likely that you will easily give up. So those are the pigeons. Still on this small piece of land, we have pigeons. From the, pigeon, uh, from the pigeons, we have the quail birds. Uh, this is the cage for the quail birds. So the quail birds live here. Uh, you can see how amazing they look. So from all these animals you can earn a little bit of money. You know that quail eggs are very nutritious and the meat. So if you have these on your homestead, uh, this is how a quail bird looks like. Okay, they are very tiny birds. This is how a quail bird looks like. I think uh, this, they have been fighting, I can see on the eye. Yeah, but basically, those are the quail birds. We feed them a uh, layers mash from this wooden uh, feeder. And then uh, give them water through that uh, homemade uh, drinker. So those are the quail birds in the cage. The cage has an egg collection point uh, which is here. So the eggs come through down here. And normally the quails lay in the afternoons. So as of now you cannot find any egg. Let me cover the feeds for the pigeons from the pigeons you see that also on the same small space we have um, guinea fowls 
this is a, a trio uh, we have one male and uh, two females so these are guinea fowls which we have in that cage so you see that we still have a lot of uh, free spaces here we intend to expand maybe with uh, guinea pigs when uh, this cage here is full and also we still have space to do other things so generally the space shouldn't be your limitation to to farm uh, please chase your your dreams and uh, and your passion if you're passionate about uh, rearing animals please let space not be the limiting factor you see on this still on the small uh, piece of uh, land we still have the the turkeys these are our three turkeys which we have on the farm from the turkeys we proceed to the chicken uh, this is where we have the chicken okay you see that uh, it's up you see that we have a few that are laying uh, that is uh, the improvised uh, laying box which we made uh, because the chicken were uh, spoiling the eggs when they were laying them on the ground so we made that to kind of uh, help with the situation but basically you see that we have a few hens here uh, looking very healthy see like that black one is good is of good weight and good size so those are hens and then we have one rooster so we have about six hens the two hens are here I believe this one is incubating the eggs see that uh, she has a few eggs which is incubating so we have interrupted uh, the piece but yeah guys that's how much you can utilize your space uh, to farm in a, in a very small uh, backyard literally all you need is to have the passion because that's where everything starts and then you will be able to farm uh, thanks for watching guys if you find this video interesting please give it a like Endeavor to subscribe to the channel. Let's grow a community here on YouTube for people that want to at least be doing something, farm something at home. Don't depend on the grocery stores for everything. If you have an opportunity to farm anything, please, we encourage you to do so. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.